Does your checking account pay 5%? Get more in return with Boost Checking from Dort Financial Credit Union. Boost is a simple and convenient checking account that pays up to 5% APY on balances up to $10,000 when monthly requirements are met. You could earn up to $500 annually in dividends. No minimum balances, no monthly service or per check fees. Start enjoying the better benefits of Boost Checking from Dort Financial Credit Union. Halo Burger has donated more than $125,000 to the community among various charities. My vision with the Halo Family Fund was just being able to help people when they needed it. You know, we've done so much to give back to the community, and I wanted to find a way to make our people feel like they're our community as well. They care about us before the business, and that really speaks for itself. We're a family company who takes care of our employees and our community. My name is Mike Rogers. I'm the owner of Commercial Graphics of Michigan Incorporated. We are a design, graphic design and printing company, uh, full service print, bindery, graphic design, anything you can think of. We started Commercial Graphics in 1984. We'll be celebrating our 34th anniversary this year in April. Our mission is to provide the highest quality graphic design and printing products to our clients at a, a tremendous value and with impeccable service. I got into this business basically because I had to. Um, the company I was working for closed. I was managing an implant print shop. and We had an opportunity to uh, purchase our own retail printing company, which we did back in 1984. So, out of necessity, I guess, but it's it's really uh, been a, a dream come true for us. Print is not dead by by any means. Um, our industry's changed dramatically during the last 10 to 15 years, uh, going from a majority of offset work to digital work. And fortunately for commercial graphics, we kept up with the technology, and we have state-of-the-art digital printing equipment. We still have the offset, which makes for a nicely rounded shop. We have lots of options on how to print your jobs, which we always look for the best value for our, our customers. Oh, I'd just like to say thank you to my B&I partners. Uh, without you guys, uh, Commercial Graphics would, would not have experienced the growth and the success we have. We've been in B&I for over 15 years, and uh, really, I can't thank you enough. Appreciate it very much. Well, we're located, physically located, at 1453 Wally Strasse in Burton. It's our brand new facility. We moved here uh, two years ago. Uh, you can find us on the web at www.commercialgraphicsofmi.com and you can always find us on Facebook. I'd just like to say, uh, give us a try, check us out. You won't be disappointed. Commercial Graphics, business printing by the printing pros. At VFCU, we know you work overtime to make everything around you just right. So we're here to make your day-to-day -day life a little bit easier. We're focused on providing you with the mobile services that allow you access to your accounts wherever your life takes you. Need to deposit a check on the go? No problem. Want to use Apple Pay at the grocery store? You can do that too. We are where you are. Stop in or visit us online and learn all the ways PFCU can help you find your financial focus in 2020.
parent needs immediate medical care, get to Hurley Medical Center. Hurley's emergency room was recently certified a bronze standard level three geriatric emergency department. So don't delay your grandparents' care. Your grandma is safe at Hurley. I didn't realize how limited my range of motion was, so when I'd raise my arm, it would go click, click, click all the way up, and now I can uniformly go up and down with no, no pain. I'm fine now. I'll do everything now. The improvements in simple things, like laying down a bed and going to sleep in peace, is, is invaluable. Advanced physical therapy got me back into everything that I used to do faster than the doctors expect me to. Don't let pain stop you. Advanced PT can help at eight convenient locations. Look, I was born here in Flint. I went to public school here, graduated from U of M Flint here. I mean, I'm a Flint kid, and my city has taken a beating, there's no doubt. But I have witnessed its transformation firsthand. It's obvious for anyone who allows themselves to see it. I feel blessed that my family and our business has been able to mirror that momentum. I'm David Gaines of Gaines Jewelry, Flint's oldest independent jewelry store, and Flint is my town. Clients enjoy working with us because we're a family. They love being served by an organization that understands family and relationships. Our clients enjoy working with us because I truly believe that they understand we have their best interest at heart. We want to see them succeed and I think that it's a good partnership because of that. We're really revolved around our faith. Um, we're revolved around this fierce loyalty to each other, uh, around being authentic, about having open conversations, and about just doing good and serving others. We feel like there's a greater mission and a greater calling in that because if we're serving our clients and we're doing that well and we have their best interests in mind, that translates to then their family and their family is going to feel that and then they can also show that to their community. Unlock the door to your home's buying power with a Dort Financial Credit Union Home Equity Line of Credit. Use your home's equity to finance home renovations, a special event, or a much-needed vacation, even debt consolidation. Unlock your home's potential with our special 1.99% HELOC rate for the first 12 months. Talk to a Dort Financial Credit Union Home Equity Support Specialist today. freshness at Halo Burger, and it's also about the beef, which is fresh, never frozen, and still made with the original recipe that made Halo Burger an iconic Flint restaurant. One of our mottos is good food for good people. Food is fresh, it's Midwestern flair. We've always done our best to bring in local product from local Michigan-made places. Fresh beef, quality ingredients, familiar taste, friendly service, and a heavenly experience awaits. I'm Heather Kale, and this is the Ferris Wheel. This is a revolutionary approach of merging talent and opportunity in a vibrant facility. We're really sold on the vision for what the Ferris Wheel is going to bring to Flint. It's kind of taking what people are already doing and just giving them like the facility around them to take them to the next level. If you work alone or if you have a small idea that you want to grow, you really need to be around other people that are like-minded. And I really found that here at the Ferris Wheel. Come and experience the workplace of the future. Since 1936, Dover has been specializing in doors for your home. Do you do garage doors? Dover does it. The area's largest selection to meet everybody's style and budget. But do you do entry doors? Absolutely. From steel, fiberglass, wood core, we have the look you'll love. Dover does it. 
How about storm doors? Of course, we have them all. Steel, aluminum, glass, and the very popular retractable screen. Dover does it. Were you going to ask about interior doors? Why not? You know it. Whether it's a hanging door, bifold door, sliding door, special shapes and sizes, Dover does it. For all your door needs, installation or service, trust the experts. We've been delivering quality for over 80 years. Dover does it. We have one important choice to make, and that's choosing Hurley Medical Center for everything from prenatal care and midwifery to that exciting delivery day. Don't delay your prenatal care. Mothers-to-be are safe at Hurley. Mobile Medical Response is Mid and Northern Michigan's premier EMS organization. But what sets us apart? Our 25 years of experience, our state-of-the-art technology, our response-ready ambulances, or is it our people? 600 highly trained EMS professionals and support staff committed to providing the best possible experience for our patients and their loved ones. I'm glad I was there to help your mother. Husband. Son. Father. Daughter. I'm glad I'm here to answer your call. In addition to the staff here at Gaines Jewelry, but I've spent most of my life in the jewelry business here in Flint. I've sold jewelry, managed stores, and even owned my own store. And the Gaines name has always stood for integrity, expertise, selection, and value. I'm proud to be a part of the Gaines tradition because now I get to experience it all firsthand right here in the community I love. I'm Fred Westerveld of Gaines Jewelry, Flint's oldest independent jewelry store. And Flint is my town. You, we know you work overtime to make everything around you just right. So we're here to make your day-to-day -day life a little bit easier. We're focused on providing you with the mobile services that allow you access to your accounts wherever your life takes you. Need to deposit a check on the go? No problem. Want to use Apple Pay at the grocery store? You can do that too. We are where you are. Stop in or visit us online and learn all the ways PFCU can help you find your financial focus in 2020. Haler Burger is about tradition that began 97 years ago. Haler Burger has grown to become an iconic and nostalgic brand that never forgets its commitment to the community. In nearly every corner of the community, you'll find Haler Burger stepping up to make a positive impact on the communities it serves, a philosophy that's been in place since the Thomas family days and one that makes this brand so special to so many people. They're not just a business, they're family, and family looks out for family. Turn to the experts at Hurley's Hernia Center of Excellence for treatment and repair. Procedures at Hurley offer faster recovery time and minimal pain. So don't delay your care. Hernia repairs are safe at Hurley. Therapy Center. Our goal is to get you back to doing the things you love. I felt really bad pain in my back. I came to Advanced Physical Therapy Center and after therapy I started to feel better again so that I can tumble and do gymnastics again. I got up one day and I couldn't hardly walk. I came in here and the guys worked with me and they got me back on my feet. Don't let pain or injury stop you from living your life to the fullest. The experts at Advanced Physical Therapy Center can help at eight convenient locations is very affordable. For the cost of one semester at a four-year university, you'd be able to complete both your EMT and your paramedic training. In addition, if you come to work at Mobile Medical Response as an EMT, we'll pay for your paramedic training and provide the scheduling support for you to be successful in the program. And you can do all of this without amassing a great deal of student debt. There's a bright future in EMS. Once you obtain your EMT license and go on to obtain your paramedic license, your options increase dramatically. You can become a field training officer, you can become a field supervisor, you can work in operations. There are opportunities in administration and leadership within organizations. 
Does your checking account pay 5%? Get more in return with Boost Checking. Boost is a simple and convenient checking account that pays up to 5% APY on balances up to $10,000 when requirements are met. Boost Checking from Dort Financial Credit Union. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to downtown Flint, Michigan. We are back at Antwood Stadium at Kettering University for another episode of Flint City Buck Soccer. Alongside my broadcast partner, Gary Parsons, my name is Neil Rule. Happy to have you with us wherever you're watching in over a quarter million homes in mid-Michigan on CW46. We are happy to have you with us. Flint City Bucks last week coming off a 2-1 win over Inter Detroit. In spirit of that, Gary, that was a very spirited affair, a very good soccer match to watch. Yeah, and, I, and we're going to see more of that today because I think Livonia City is in that same league, and they're usually one of the top teams in that league. So uh, I'm expecting a really strong game from them today. And certainly Livonia City FC finished at the top of the table last year in the Michigan Premier Soccer League. They amassed an 8-1 record. They have a couple of veterans on their side. Kyle Breitmeier, the all-time leading scorer for AFC Ann Arbor back in his NPSL days. And Gary, you know these names for Livonia City FC. And, and you and I were talking before we came on the air, guys like Breitmeier, another guy like Vince Bruno that the Flint City Bucks certainly had an interest in as well. These are talented guys. These are grinders. They're out here to play today. Yeah, it's guys that used to be in the either PDL or NPSL uh, back in the day, and now they're a little bit older. They got uh, you know real jobs for a living, and uh, they're just doing this for the for the love of the game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, look, like all of us, a little bit older. Some of us a little bit wiser. Some of us not. But we are just moments away as we will get you the starting 11s and also the presentation of the colors by the Genesee County Sheriff Honor Guard. Kevin Starnes will sing the national anthem as well from the Detroit Opera Theater. So just moments away from the opening kick, Flint City Bucks will come out in those blue kits with the red trim. Livonia City FC in those fuchsia kits with the black shorts. So we will send it over to the public address announcer here at Atwood Stadium. And as we talked about, the Genesee County Sheriff Honor Guard with the presentations of our color and the Welcome National Anthem. Welcome to Atwood Stadium and Kettering University for today's match featuring Livonia City FC and your Flint City Bucks. Let's meet today's starting lineups first for Livonia City. Number zero, Kyle Breitmeier. Number two, Kyle Bouye. Number three, Raul Ulas. Number four, Mitch Jones. Number eight, Jacob Kunith. Number nine, Mac Bashard. Number 10, Josh Stenbach. Number 11, Kyle Johnson. Number 14, John Daly. Number 19, Vince Bruno. And starting in goal, number zero, Peter Arton. Livonia City is led by head coach Gavin King. And now, the starting lineup for your Flint City Bucks. Number two, Elliot Bentley. Number five, Dom Hart. Number eight, Gonzalo Caceres. Number nine, Marty Maven. Number 10, James DeCosimo. Number 16, Michael O'Neill. Number 20, TJ Stevens. Number 21, Ayuk Tambe. Number 23, TJ Ifadaroti. And number 26, Spencer Nall. Starting in goal today for your Bucks, number 30, Elliot Tarney. The Bucks are led by head coach Andy Wakestad, and he is assisted by Louis Burrow and Paul Doro. Fans presenting today's colors are Deputies Stephen Messer and Dion Smith II of the Genesee County Sheriff's On- Theater, Kevin Starr, who will perform the National Anthem of the United States of America. 
Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting. night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Theater. Our national anthem, Kevin Starnes, rocking the microphone as he always does. Great job out of Today's him. Referee is Joshua as we are just about he ready to roll here from Atwood Stadium. Again, new Oral rule, Lindsay. Gary Parsons the with official you. Is Mark Our Murkowski. officials here today, the head referee, Josh Abs, And he was the head referee for the national championship match for USL League Two last season right here at Atwood Stadium. The first assistant, William Naderhood. The second assistant, Christian Vorvensi. And the fourth official is Mark Lorkowski. So we are just about ready to go as Elliot Tarney makes his way back to his 18. And seven clean sheets his senior year for the Oakland Golden Grizzlies during their magical run. They went to the NCAA tournament, a very tasty 0.89 goals against average for Elliott Tarney. And Gary, he's a guy you know a lot about his game. He'll never wow you with athleticism, but you know what? The ball never seems to find the back of the net when he's between those pipes. Yeah, just a steady goalkeeper. And we, of course, saw him for Open University back in the day and uh, just solid keeper. And that's what you want in goal. I mean, athleticism is one thing. But uh, the knowledge and the tactical ability to protect the goal and not expose yourself is a huge part of goalkeeping. Flint City Bucks will have the possession to start. Michael O'Neill will kick it to get things going. Played his college soccer at Tiffin. Finished his time in the top 10 in that program's history in assist. We have seen him with some quality service here this season and away we go the opening kick temperature a perfect 70 degrees beautiful September afternoon I Tom Bay the target right away he's unable to keep it in near the goal line we have had just a tremendous weather run these last couple weeks I remember the first week of this exhibition season temperatures down on the pitch around 100 degrees but ever since then it's been perfect upper 60s low 70s is making its move through in Michigan. Won't be too long, you'll see those leaves start to change. And Gary Parsons' golf game will heat up all at the same time. Rowan coming up for Livonia City FC. Play their soccer in the Michigan Premier Soccer League. Finished at the top of the table last year with an 8-1 mark. High quality players for them. We talked about in the open, Kyle Breitmeyer, a name to watch. Vince Bruno, another name to watch. Vince Bruno and Breitmeyer both played for AFC Ann Arbor and PSL. The training is Vince Bruno with the ball. He does well to get it out of harm's way. Gary, what are we going to see from the Bucks here tactically this afternoon? Well, I think it's, it's more of the same, you know. It's a standard 4-5-1, you know, possess the ball, try and get players forward, uh, you know, try and establish your possession. I think it's, you know, right now it's going to be a feeling out process as to kind of 
talent each team has and how they're moving the ball and then whether you, whether you can press them and get results and whether you're gonna maybe drop off and defend you back half. Al Johnson tossed it in for Livonia City FC. Johnson almost 30 career matches started during his college time at Albia. Ball through the middle, good recovery by Casares. He came back to touch it away. Long service by Mitch Jones. Played out nicely by the spine of that Bucks back line. Good ball possession so far by Livonia City, and, and they're willing to play it up top when, the, when it's on as well. So it's a combination of, you know, the ball on the floor, playing a 10-yard passing, and then like this, good diagonal ball, finds a winger. A beautiful setup. Touch let the attacker down. Good recovery there by Spencer Nolm, too. Eliminate that threat. We're in the fourth minute, just underway. Flint City Bucks soccer here on CW46, oh, all over Michigan. The back third. Quick shot, but it's blocked. Very calm and collected by Spencer Thompson. Here comes Dombe. Poked away from behind at the last moment. What a nice Connor opportunity Reed. here. Good block by the goalkeeper. Peter Arton, the starting keeper for Livonia City FC. He started two matches at Lawrence Tech University last year. And as I always say about all the guys from Lawrence Tech, I know they're smarter than I am, Gary. <laughs> Me as well. <laughs> Good counter no, down this left-hand side. No challenge in this TJ move. cutting in with it, but it's nicely blocked. Ipitaroti tried to get it back. Ipitaroti played his college soccer at Davenport. That shot given a go by Consadis towards that right post, but Arden down to the turf to make that stop. Not a lot on that shot. A good diagonal shot. Direct ball comes up as Turney will escort that one over the line. Pretty good matchup so far here in the fifth minute. Both teams have thrown a couple of early punches. Roti with it. We're talking about his days at Davenport. He scored 53 goals during his career in 94 matches. Elliot Bentley jumped up into the play. Nice thought there with that switch, but the ball just got uh, out in front of Elliot just a little bit too far. He couldn't catch up to it. I tell you what, I'm predicting a one-goal game here, or even potentially the, the tie. This is going to be a even match. You can tell in the first one we in five minutes. Both teams are quality. And there's been some already high quality defending on the wing. I was going to say, yeah, both yeah. Uh, offensively and defensively, you're seeing some good stuff out here so far. Spencer Thompson touches it wide to the right side. The Cosimo. Another switch. Good switch this time to TJ. Receives it down this left flank. Toroti goes 1v1. His shot! Just caught the outside of the post, it looked like. Peter Arton might have gotten a hand on it. Yeah, that's going to be a corner. Yeah. Here, you talk about it all the time, man. Get that ball in the wing, go 1v1, and go to work. Yeah, that was a great opportunity, and, a, and exactly what we're talking about there. Cut inside, get a quick shot off, almost scored. Michael O'Neill will serve the corner. Towards the back post, that's headed in and flicked on and cleared off the line. Box dangerous off the corner piece. Livonia City FC looking for the counter. 
strong run made by Kyle Johnson. Can Johnson track it down? No, it's Arnie off the line. I'll tell you what, Kyle Johnson's been all over the field so far in the first six, six, seven minutes of this game. Plays in the middle of midfield, but look, and he's pressing there. Kid's got some good energy. I've seen him on the right wing. I've seen him on the left wing. I've seen him in the middle of midfield. Flag is up along the far touch line. Elliot Bentley. And doing good stuff in those positions. Not like just some guy running around like a chicken with his head cut off. It's really good quality stuff. Elliot Bentley's jumped into the play a couple times coming up. That left back stop. Team all GLIAC performer at Northwood, just down the road here from Atwood Stadium. Right, Ball sent sides. ahead. I thought he was off, but he's Marty on. Marty Mabin, oh, his shot is stopped. Had, I hear Tommy at the far side as well, wide open. Shot, decided to take the shot, and the goalkeeper made a nice save. That ball goes over the line. Marty Mabin with a high quality chance. City Bucks, Gary, seeming to find their footing offensively. They've been dangerous over the last three minutes. Yeah, a couple of nice counterattacks. Giveaway through the middle. Livonia turns it over, and the Bucks are in the final third, but a bad pass. Kind of forced that one in there, like 1v3. Good pressure up top from the Flint City Bucks. counter and there is space and Ipatoroti is in Maven's up with him Ipatoroti goes down and we will play on but Ipatoroti and Marty Maven giving Livonia City FC some issues in that back third final third play for the Flint City Bucks, the reigning USL League Two National Champions. Won that match last season, over 7,000 on hand. Ipa Toroti trying to find Elliot Bentley. And Gary, I think you're seeing the success Ipa Toroti's having up top with Maven. That is allowing Elliot Bentley now to, to jump into that play more and more. Yeah, it's some good stuff going forward by the Bucks right now. And you're getting the Outside back involved into the attack. Got some good switches. And Livonia needs to be careful because they, in the last few minutes here they've been turning the ball over in the back half. Bucks doing a little bit of pressing. Yeah, those turnovers in your in your own third, Gary. Those are like dogs that chase cars. Yeah. We, they don't last very long. You can get away with it once or twice. At a high school game I was at the other day, Bloomfield Hills High School, and the goalkeeper did that. You know, made a cut around with the, one of the attacking players from the other team, made a nice move on him, and then passed the bad ball, and boom, back out of there. Yep. Here's O'Neill. Chipped in. Sadis going after it. Throw in coming up for Flint City. And that whistle goes against Livonia City. So this will be an interesting setup for the Flint City Bucks just outside the 18.
was in Gary Parsons' playbook for these situations. Well, you got two options here, I think, is, is swing the ball in with an in-swinger here, or if you're going to loosen up a guy at the top of the 18, which it looks like right now, James, the Cosmo is an option there, could be an option. Just slot a ball hard on the floor to him and see if you get a one-touch finish. And now he's picked up, so there's your in-swinger. Oh, it's a bad ball. Bucks will get another crack at it. The Cosimo. He let it go. He lets it go. Stop made by Art. by TJ again, cutting inside and getting that right footed shot off. And Gary, there were a couple instances last week where you talked about that changing the geometry of the shot attack. Go across, go back towards the post you just vacated. Even Torotti's made a couple of those bids. Yeah, and the goalkeeper's done a good job of uh, not getting wrong-footed and, and being balanced so that he dives back towards the near post and makes the save. So maybe you got to bend it far post next time you do it. O'Neill's back heel goes through. Livonia City looking for the counter, but James DeCosimo closes the door on that right away. Fourteenth minute. As always, Flint City Bucks Soccer is brought to you by Dort Financial Credit Union. They open doors, helping you build your future and meet your financial goals by providing quality financial services, now servicing the entire state of Michigan. Oh, a nice ball back post. Speaking of service. Well. Good job that time of recovering by Mitch Jones and knocking that ball out of bounds. Saved a goal. Corner coming up. City Bucks have been buzzing the last eight minutes or so of this match. They've done everything but put one in the back of the net. Another corner served in. That's punched out and now cleared out, but a whistle will go against yeah. the Flint City Bucks. Gonzalo that time got a bit of the guy trying to go after the ball. Managing a supply chain is complex. Manufacturers, distributors, and logistics provides partner with the Genesee Group so they can focus on their core business. Contact the Genesee Group for all of your logistical needs. Tarney sends it up short. Elliot Tarney is the type of keeper he will he will trigger the attack from that goalkeeping spot. Yeah, I think he does a good job of knowing when to, you know, make a quick short distribution like this one to the wide open guy or when to knock the ball up the field and knows when to win hold it and knows midfield. when to hold them. Huh? Yeah, it's and Bucks picking up the second ball. I have Tombe with it. Bentley jumping up into the play on the left side. Here's Maven in the middle. Bentley, former Oakland Golden Grizzly product. Gonzalez had it for a second, lost it, got it back. Some space for the Bucks to operate. Great individual effort. Ball played away. Breitmeyer recovered to take it. Really playing well, got all the pressure on Livonia. You know, you got to get a goal out of this possession, though. I mean, it's one thing to uh, dominate the game, but you got to make it count by putting the ball in the back of the net. Otherwise, it goes for naught, and the other team will end up getting their second win, and they'll turn this thing back around. Well, it's almost a momentum builder, too, right? You say, hey, we got outplayed. The scoreboard's level, so yeah. I mean, nothing worse than coming into halftime totally dominating a game with a 0 0 result. Flag is up on the near touch line. There's only one thing worse than that that I can think of off the top of my head that's going into halftime 0 0 and you got totally dominated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I guess that's worse. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's a short list, though, Gary. I guess that's the point of the story. Yeah, it is. It is a short list. From but you're not happy either way. <laughs> either coach. <laughs> For Elite Athletes to Weekend Warriors Advance, Physical Therapy are experts in getting you back to doing what you love. Don't risk your quality of life. Choose Advanced Physical Therapy Center, the official partner of the Flint City Bucks. Neil Rule, Gary Parsons with you live on CW46 all over mid-Michigan. Oh, because of ball. Beautifully and off the line. Art does the job again. Marty Maben makes his move. Back to goal at the top of the D. Said it's the touch, left foot shot is sent wide of the frame. But again, the uh, really City great, dangerous. great play by the goalkeeper here to break up that goal. That was going in the back of the net. Nice through ball, good run off the ball, and he was in. And the goalkeeper came out, made a nice save. It's one of those all-or-nothing decisions that the keeper has to make, and he's got to be right. Yeah, and, and he was. was. He, he read that really, really well. There is a decent wind blowing around Atwood Stadium, probably about 15 miles per hour or so as Elliot Bentley comes out to play it away. That is at the back of the Flint City box. John Daly plays it away. Kyle Johnson again. He's heavy with his touch. Lavonia will get it back. Bouye played it to that right side. Direct Diag ball headed Diagonal back to the ball covered really well by Spencer Knopf that time and headed it back to the keeper. Here you brought this up probably the first three minutes of the match, but Lavonia City FC. Going direct here, they're, they're they're sending long passes up ahead. Yeah, and it's and it's quality stuff, meaning they're right. getting the ball to midfield and then doing it. It's not just balls from the back line hitting it and open. Ellie Bentley down this flank now on the left side. Nice cross in the box. Oh, and sent my over top goodness. of the frame. Quality service from Elliot Bentley. Nipa Dorotti just sent it over the crossbar. Uh, TJ had had to play that off the uh, half volley and just got under the ball and put it over the top. Well, that's the best chance of the night right there. No question. Even though we're playing in the middle of the day. <laughs> that ball a little more hopeful. Bentley plays it back to Tarney. Tarney wastes no time. Going to DeCosimo. successfully for right the now, call. Put this ball down, play it. Play it wide. You got a guy wide open. I'm not a big fan of, of, of serving the ball in the box from a dead, dead central part of the field. Let's see what happens with it. But that's, that's an easier ball to defend. And they do get it cleared out. Maybe good with the head play. Him out wide. I think Tom Bates is still on it. Bucks attempting to build up again. Here's Elliot Bentley one more time. Looking for that through ball right now. There it is. Taroti plays it beautifully. Dispossessed, but a throw in coming up for Flint City. Into the game for Livonia City, number three, Raul Fugos. Substitution for Livonia City. Raul Fugos comes in, played his youth soccer with the Michigan Wolves. Ben 
Bentley has it. Oh, nice through ball again. P.J. lays it off, Tayuk will lose it off his foot. But nice combination play down, down this left side. The Bucks are doing everything right now. Everything they got a the counter finish. moment here on the left flank, and he finds him. Stand back. Line on the left, 1v1. Nolf recovers to turn him away. The cross was cut out very nicely by Dom Hart. Space again. He's got TJ again down this left side. Flag up on the far side. I didn't see that. I thought he kept himself on. For over 35 years, Ortho Michigan has been Michigan's premier orthopedic group using advanced cutting edge technology to deliver superior care to their patients. Ortho Michigan is the official orthopedic provider for the Flint City Bucks. Now we will get a whistle and a stoppage here in the 24th minute. The hydration break, so we will take the break as well. Flint City Bucks applying some pressure, but we are still scoreless. You're watching Flint City Bucks soccer on CW46 all over mid-Michigan. Unlock your home's buying power with a Dort Financial Credit Union home equity line of credit. Finance renovations, special events, or a vacation. Get our special 1.99% HELOC rate for the first 12 months only at Dort Financial Credit Union. Watching my grandfather work on watches and my dad sorting diamonds, I didn't really expect to be working in the family jewelry store. I went to the Chicago area for college and graduated there, and that was a really special time in my life. But I witnessed Flint's recovery taking place before my eyes, and I decided that I wanted to be a part of it. What better way to make a living than helping customers find something that they can treasure for a lifetime? I'm Selena Gaines at Gaines Jewelry, Flint's oldest independent jewelry store, and Flint is my town. I didn't realize how limited my range of motion was, so when I raised my arm, it would go click, click, click all the way up, and now I can uniformly go up and down with no, no pain. I'm fine now, I'll do everything now. The improvements in simple things, like laying down a bed and going to sleep in peace is, is invaluable. Advanced physical therapy got me back into everything that I used to do faster than the doctors expect me to. Don't let pain stop you. Advanced PT can help at eight convenient locations. inside Atwood Stadium here in downtown Flint. We're at Kettering University. Neil Rule, Gary Parsons back with you. Nil, nil the score as we wrap up the hydration break. And as always, Flint City Bucks soccer brought to you by Dort Financial Credit Union. So Gary, about 24, 25 minutes into this match, Flint City Bucks uh, certainly have tilted the pitch as of late. You do have to be mindful of Livonia City's FC counter attack abilities. But I, I think you and I are probably in unison with our opinion of this match. The, the beauty's been there. The only thing missing is that finish. Well, yeah, the counterattack has been coming from the uh, Flint City Bucks. Livonia City's been building the ball up and uh, maybe turning it over a little bit more than they want in the process. And the Bucks have been taking advantage of that and getting after it and get, creating four or five really quality chances. But no goals so far. So you got to keep grinding away. Could be one of those situations where if you get one, they tend to come in, in pairs or even in three, so we will see. The City FC hold on the rest of the way here in the first half. Yeah, the other way works out is you pound away at the goal and you don't get yours, and then all of a sudden the other team gets one good one and they get theirs, and then you find yourself down by one. 
and then in the second half, the screws continue to tighten. Another turnover rolls. by Livonia City in her back third. O'Neill to Cosimo, sends it out to the right side. Nolf with it. Has a good ball to the back side, but just a little bit too far out in front of TJ to connect with that. You know, I was just thinking, one of the things that I am seeing with the Bucks is, you know, this is the, what, the fourth week we're playing here and these guys are starting to get to know yes, each other are. as players and you can see uh, you know better combination play coming from them and quicker play as well that's that's what really stands out to me Gary they, this match versus the first match of the exhibition season they are playing yeah they're at playing a lightning much, quicker pace yeah a lot sharper and there has been some turnover in the team but the core of this team is now um, three or four games together that you know, you're starting to show. This is a roster for head coach Andy Wagstaff and Gary you know you, you play a part in this as well just I'm always struck by the story you tell we've had to rework this roster three now four times uh, as things keep changing it certainly has been challenging and Elliot Bentley's been challenging for Livonia City to deal with here comes Bentley cross in not a lot on it cut out. Not a lot on it and I don't think that was going to find the target anyway with the Livonia City's defense was back in numbers. Maybe you need to cut that back and then get it to your midfielder and switch it out the other side. Yeah, and I give Andy a lot of credit here for uh, even during the course of these four games uh, with some turnover from week to week with guys who have got other things planned and you know putting together this exhibition season getting these players was done rather late. So he's done a really good job of filling the holes with new guys uh, for the guys who can't be here. And that was something, Gary, even going back to last year during the, the run to a national championship, it seemed every week you and I were up here on this microphone talking about this a different center back combination than we had the week before. And that was during, during a time where you guys went on to win a national championship. Why is this organization so good at constructing rosters on the fly like that? Well, you, I'm not so sure it's it's put it, putting them together on the fly. You got to have a deep roster so that you can deal with the players that are coming and going for various reasons, including pro trials and all that stuff that goes on in the summertime. So you have to have a deep deep team. Now Tombe touches ahead. Casares, Gonzalo working one v one. There was Null. Sent ahead. The target is Cunneth. He's unable to get on the end of it. So Tarney will wing it to the right side. And the Bucks will go at it again here in the 30th minute. Good switch out to Bentley on this left flank. Gets a good ball inside to TJ. Even Taroti tried to step through. He was defended nicely. Oh, that's a nice ball as well. But again, just a little bit too far out in front, but a nice opportunity. Good thought. And a quality ball, just a little bit too much on it. Intelligent Ashler Staffing, Michigan's premier human resources solution agency. Five convenient locations to serve you. Flint, Owasso, Bay City, Madison Heights, and Livonia, empowering the community Isn't through the employment. Intelligent Ashler, the official staffing company for the Flint City Bucks. Substitution coming on for Livonia City FC. As Jacob Cunneth will come off. Coming in is Zach Hill. Zach Hill, a veteran for Livonia City FC. He's played four seasons with him. Here's Aaron ahead. Tumme coming in from the right flank now. Tombe lets shot it rip. And back of the net. What a beauty. Ayuk Tombe with oh, a he, rocket. He just blew that one past the goalkeeper. Near post with a ton of pace on it. Coming in is Zach Hill. Zach Hill, a veteran. Livonia City FC. He's played four seasons with him. Here's Aaron Tumme coming in from the right flank now. Tombe lets it rip. Back of the net. What a beauty. Ayuk Tombe. That's got to make you happy sitting on the bench there getting a result after all this domination that they've had in the last 10 or 15 minutes. 
just that quickly for the City Bucks. Bucks goal, Cash in on all that possession, all those opportunities. Uh, Ayub Ripped it home. Marty Maven will get credit for the assist. In the 31st minute. 31st minute goal. Put the Flint City Bucks on top. Good timing. Well, I mean, it, there's always a good time. When you, when you score, it's always good timing when you score a goal. But Yeah, but... She, but but it's true, I mean, after all this uh, pressure that they put on him, we've got another attack down this left side again. Ooh, and that could have been. Yeah, Marty may have been taken down. Almost like a wide receiver going across the middle in a football game. Yeah, I couldn't tell if he got the ball there or not, but Marty went down in a heap in the box. Takeaway, O'Neill. That's Harris. Tried to step through a double team, could not. Livonia City trying to mount a quick counter. Instead, they'll possess through the middle. Yeah, good job by the Bucks that time of getting the ball closed down so they couldn't counter on him. So, Bide enough time to get their numbers back. Marco Bernardini in the middle. Played for Lansing, United, and Detroit City FC during his time in the MPSL. Here's Vince Bruno. Ayuk Tambe the difference. An absolute laser beam off the half volley. Quite frankly, I'm, I'm surprised the netting was able to hold that. That had such pace on yeah, it. Yeah, that thing was <laughs> was really hit. I thought we were going to have to get the Atwood Stadium and Kettering University crew out there to replace that net, but it did hold strong. Uh, that ball goes against the Flint City box. Yeah, but they had a, the advantage. Yeah, yeah, they had the advantage. Even the player receiving the ball is going, hey, man, I'm trying to attack the goal here. Let it go. that whistle up to his mouth a little quickly before he can evaluate whether it truly is an advantage or not. I heard one referee tell me one time what he liked to do was count in his brain when he saw the foul 1001, 1002, and then blow the whistle. You know, uh, if, it, if the ball came loose to maybe another teammate or something, and see what the situation is, and then blow the whistle. Well, we're talking about goals. And on cue, Tyler Channel will come into the match. Into the game for the Bucks, number 13. He has been Tyler filling Channel. the back of the net as of late for this Flint City Bucks team. Former standout at Saginaw Valley State. He's an All-American during his time there. Oh, that's Service a bit of a the box. Bentley lost it. That's the first time I've seen that from Elliott. Where, where Charney came out for the ball. Defender tried to clear it at the same time, and neither one of them came up with much. They got away with one there. Yes, they did. And they're having a couple of words with each other now to say, you know, I was under, defenders going, hey, I was under that. If you're the goalkeeper and you come for that, you got to get it. I think that's a very underrated portion of, of the goalkeeping game that I think fans analysts even sometimes don't give keepers enough credit I mean you have to make a split decision the in the heat the of battle 14, with everything on the say. line and the guys that are good at that that's a skill yeah for sure it's it's all about making a quick decision and being right with your decision because you there there is no room for for the alternative and to me that's a it's a relationship you have with your center backs as well as to know when 
they can get their job done and when you have to come and you know save them. So in that scenario there, I think the defender had that ball dealt with and maybe you don't come if you're the goalkeeper. And if you do come, you better come up with a ball or, or it is a mistake. Yep. Oh, and Turner into the match and we'll get our first look as well at Batiste Bicesur. Oh yeah, this is the uh, first game for Batiste and let's see what he can do here for the Bucks. Very good player at Cloud County Community College in the famed Jayhawk Conference last year. Seven goals, three assists as a sophomore. And Gary, you go across all sports. That, that Jayhawk Conference is, is one of the premier Juco leagues. In baseball, basketball, soccer. Some big time sports being played there. And I honestly don't know too much about it, but you're right. There's a lot of good players that come out of that conference. tell you PFCU is proud to be your local credit union and they're here to help any way they can they proudly provided over four million dollars in PPP loans to support our local small businesses with their business or personal account PFCU wants to be your trusted financial partner visit PFCU the number four me.com today to learn more PFCU is a federally insured operation and they are insured by the NCUA Gave it a go, comes back towards that right touch line. Zach Hill lost it. Tyler Channel challenges. Livonia City will recover. Channel makes a run. Forces the play back to the keeper. Bad giveaway in the middle of midfield here by Livonia. And the Bucks coming down this right flank. And again, a bad ball. Gives it right back to Livonia, but the Bucks get it back. Maven in the middle to Cosimo. Elliot Bentley. Tons of space. He's sure his first touch. Loses it. Kyle Breitmeier making a move. Good defending that time by Dom Hart. Kyle, Kyle tried to push it past him and he just stayed with him the whole way. He stayed on his feet and blocked the cross. Commercial graphics, print, and design are the pros that know how to get the job done. Commercial graphics, print, and design can handle all your printing needs from start to finish in their fully equipped facility in Burton. Check them out at commercialgraphicsofmi.com. Commercial graphics of MI, you know, like Michigan.com. Corner service for Livonia City. That's headed away with little difficulty by Flint City. As we move into the 41st minute, Neil Rule, Gary Parsons with you the state of Michigan, mid-Michigan on the CW46. Gary Parsons' voice available in order over a quarter million homes in mid-Michigan. What do you think about that, Gary? Sounds like a lot. <laughs> efforts. Throwing coming up for Flint City. And I will say Livonia City FC has righted the ship a bit as of late, Gary. Yeah, the game's evened out, hasn't it? And they're putting some good pressure on the Bucks. Another turnover by the Bucks there, and Dom Hart heads it back to the keeper. Elliot Bentley lining up. Rolls it out. The other thing I think you see when it's like the college game, when you when you have re-entry, you get fresh legs in there. But sometimes it takes away from the uh, uh, what's the 
for the rhythm of the game that the guys yep, were yep. establishing. Yep. Yeah. You get a few new players in it, it changes. And this one definitely changed with the subbing. And, and you notice it too, Gary Elliott Bentley's not having that joy that he had on the left side ever since the sub started coming into the yep, game. Yeah, exactly. So it's just not flowing the way it was. Flick that time by Channel down this left side, James to Cosmo. Cosmo works. Uh, Try to lay it off the channel in the middle, but it got cut out. Here's Bentley one. with it now. Maybe. Bentley cuts in. Channel with space. Oh, good strike. And good save. If one a lash, once again, Arten up to the challenge. You can see why uh, Tyler Channel was a goal scorer because he took, uh, he didn't wait at all for that one. He took a 25 yarder like, like I get those every day and I, <laughs> and I bury him. Up the left side, Breitmeier. Oh, nice move by Breitmeier. Breitmeier and steps through again, last Dom Hart did yeah, break the play up. He's had a good game. Tell you what, Gary, it's death, taxes, and Dom Hart back there on the back line. Yeah, those are constants. You know, Dom was with the uh, Bucks in 2018, back when he was a player for uh, Saginaw Valley, I believe, and did a solid job back then. And he's, you know, hasn't really lost anything. Ball sent in, strike with a right foot on frame. That's uh, Misasur. Let it go. Emmanu Sisi in the game now. I didn't yep. see him come in. So the Bucks flip the script a little bit, go attack on the right side. Yeah, and they're getting they're starting to get the ball the game back to them now. The last two or three minutes. That's a critical point of the match here for Livonia City FC. Trying to get to that halftime break. At the worst case scenario, down 1 0. Bernardini. Ball sent in, Bentley. Billy Tarney off the line. seen Elliot pinging the ball down the pitch. Just a couple of times, yeah. but most of the time he's had players underneath that have been open and he's found them straight away. Well, yeah, he said tried to make a turn. Yeah, that's a little bit sloppy that time by Amadou. Back to goal with a flick. Dan catch, Snyder. catch my high school guys doing that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Drives you crazy. Oh that's my goodness. <laughs> They tried to cut that off. Instead, it's touched ahead. Pat Smith along the line. Snyder Financial focuses on serving the needs of your family, your business, and our community. Snyder Financial can help you plan for all life stages, including the opportunities and challenges that life presents. Snyder Financial. You see that name on the back of the Flint City Bucks kids. Coming up, Just a couple minutes of stoppage time. Good corner service. Good, good clearance that time by Tarney with a punch that cleared the 18. There's Zach Hill. He'll send it back in. Tarney has this one covered. Tarney will slow things down. Distribution didn't find the right team, and now we got a counter by Livonia City here. Bucks do a good job of getting numbers back, so now it's a buildup. Bernardini. Uh, the ball is easily handled by Tarney. Uh, I believe Gary Parsons will use the line hopeful. Yeah, it's a hopeful ball. Straight up the middle of the field from the back to the front. Right to the goalkeeper is probably not a way you're going to get a goal. 
I will tell you too, Gary, your, uh, your term hopeful ball, the analysts I work with when I do USL championship matches, they, they, they like that term. Yeah, yeah. okay, well, they, they tell them to put the check in the mail yeah, to I Gary will. Parsons. Yeah. Well, no, I take credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you full credit, of course, Gary. The Gossamo through the middle. Still has it. Tyler Channel yeah. chips it up. Just too much mustard on the hot dog. There's a song, Wishing and Hoping, and I forget yeah. who sang it back in the day, but that's what I think of those balls. <laughs> I say hope is not a strategy, right, Gary? There you go. To cause a vote. Channel in the middle, Cissé back heel. Cosimo chips it ahead. Maven looked like a target. Get it out here wide. Yeah, Elliot Bentley. Oh, good strike. Right on Come frame. On. Loose on the line. Keeper recovers right in front of Marty Maven. But that was a rocket that was let go. And the whistle sounds well, just in time for Livonia City FC. If uh, Maven had got the rebound, he was going to get called for offsides. I believe the flag went up. So, so it was a good strike on the ball. And the Flint City Bucks will go to the break with the 1 0 lead. We'll take the halftime break as well. Come back, get you the second half of play. You're watching Flint City Bucks soccer brought to you by Dwarf Financial Credit Union live on CW46 all over mid Michigan. You work overtime to build the life you want. With PFCU Mobile Services, we are where you are, making banking easier and access to loans that will help you reach your financial goals. Stop by or visit us online today. My grandfather was Bob Gaines. He grew up in the Depression and used the GI Bill and hard work to start our family business, provide the best living he could for his family. He probably didn't envision his grandchildren selling and making jewelry in the store almost 60 years later. I love being part of the ongoing legacy that my grandfather started. Making and selling jewelry isn't just a job for us. It's not just what we do, it's who we are. I'm Wesley Gaines of Gaines Jewelry, Flint's oldest independent jewelry store. And Flint is my town. Our clients enjoy working with us because we're a family. They love being served by an organization that understands family and relationships. Our clients enjoy working with us because I truly believe that they understand we have their best interest at heart. We want to see them succeed and I think that it's a good partnership because of that. We're really revolved around our faith. Um, we're revolved around this fierce loyalty to each other, uh, around being authentic, about having open conversations, and about just doing good and serving others. We feel like there's a greater mission and a greater calling in that because if we're serving our clients and we're doing that well and we have their best interest in mind, that translates to then their family and their family is going to feel that. And then they can also show that to their community. Since 2016, Halo Burger has donated more than $125,000 to the community among various charities. My vision with the Halo Family Fund was just being able to help people when they needed it. You know, we've done so much to give back to the community, and I wanted to find a way to make our people feel like they're our community as well. They care about us before the business, and that really speaks for itself. We're a family company who takes care of our employees and our community. checking account pay 5%? Get more in return with Boost Checking from Dort Financial Credit Union. Boost is a simple and convenient checking account that pays up to 5% APY on balances up to $10,000 when monthly requirements are met. You could earn up to $500 annually in dividends. No minimum balances, no monthly service or per check fees. Start enjoying the better benefits of Boost Checking from Dort Financial Credit Union.
My name is Mike Rogers. I'm the owner of Commercial Graphics of Michigan Incorporated. We are a design, graphic design and printing company, uh, full service print, bindery, graphic design, anything you can think of. We started Commercial Graphics in 1984. We'll be celebrating our 34th anniversary this year in April. Our mission is to provide the highest quality graphic design and printing products to our clients at a, a tremendous value and with impeccable service. I got into this business basically because I had to. Um, the company I was working for closed. I was managing an implant print shop. And we had an opportunity to uh, purchase our own retail printing company, which we did back in 1984. So, uh, out of necessity, I guess, but it's, it's really uh, been a dream come true for us. Print is not dead by, by any means. Um, our industry's changed dramatically during the last 10 to 15 years, uh, going from a majority of offset work to digital work. And fortunately for commercial graphics, we kept up with the technology and we have state-of-the-art digital printing equipment. We still have the offset, which makes for a nicely rounded shop. We have lots of options on how to print your jobs, which we always look for the best value for our, our customers. Oh, I'd just like to say thank you to my B&I partners. Uh, without you guys, uh, Commercial Graphics would, would not have experienced the growth and the success we have. We've been in B&I for over 15 years, and uh, really, I can't thank you enough. Appreciate it very much. Well, we're located, physically located, uh, at 1453 Wally Strasse in Burton. It's our brand new facility. We moved here uh, two years ago. Uh, you can find us on the web at www.commercialgraphicsofmi.com and you can always find us on Facebook. I'd just like to say, uh, give us a try, check us out, you won't be disappointed. Commercial Graphics, business printing by the printing pros. parent needs immediate medical care. Get to Hurley Medical Center. Hurley's emergency room was recently certified a bronze standard level three geriatric emergency department. So don't delay your grandparents' care. Your grandma is safe at Hurley. I'm Heather Kale and this is the Ferris Wheel. a revolutionary approach of merging talent and opportunity in a vibrant facility. We're really sold on the vision for what the Ferris wheel is going to bring to Flint. It's kind of taking what people are already doing and just giving them like the facility around them to take them to the next level. If you work alone or if you have a small idea that you want to grow, you really need to be around other people that are like-minded. And I really found that here at the Ferris wheel. Come and experience the workplace of the future. At Advanced Physical Therapy Center, our goal is to get you back to doing the things you love. I felt really bad pain in my back. I came to Advanced Physical Therapy Center and after therapy I started to feel better again so that I can tumble and do gymnastics again. I got up one day and I couldn't hardly walk. I came in here and the guys worked with me and they got me back on my feet. Don't let pain or injury stop you from living your life to the fullest. The experts at Advanced Physical Therapy Center can help at eight convenient locations. It's very affordable. For the cost of one semester at a four-year university, you'd be able to complete both your EMT and your paramedic training. 
in addition, if you come to work at Mobile Medical Response as an EMT, we'll pay for your paramedic training and provide the scheduling support for you to be successful in the program. And you can do all of this without amassing a great deal of student debt. There's a bright future in EMS. Once you obtain your EMT license and go on to obtain your paramedic license, your options increase dramatically. You can become a field training officer, you can become a field supervisor, you can work in operations. There are opportunities in administration and leadership within organizations. Since 1936, Dover has been specializing in doors for your home. Do you do garage doors? Dover does it. The area's largest selection to meet everybody's style and budget. But do you do entry doors? Absolutely. From steel, fiberglass, wood core, we have the look you'll love. Dover does it. How about storm doors? Of course, we have them all. Steel, aluminum, glass, and the very popular retractable screen. Dover does it. Were you going to ask about interior doors? Why not? You know it. Whether it's a hanging door, bifold door, sliding door, special shapes and sizes, Dover does it. For all your door needs, installation or service, trust the experts. We've been delivering quality for over 80 years. Dover does it. Look, I was born here in Flint. I went to public school here, graduated from U of M Flint here. I mean, I'm a Flint kid, and my city has taken a beating, there's no doubt but I have witnessed its transformation firsthand. It's obvious for anyone who allows themselves to see it. I feel blessed that my family and our business has been able to mirror that momentum. I'm David Gaines of Gaines Jewelry, Flint's oldest independent jewelry store, and Flint is my town. Lots is Mid and Northern Michigan's premier EMS organization. But what sets us apart? Our 25 years of experience, our state-of-the-art technology, our response-ready ambulances, or is it our people? 600 highly trained EMS professionals and support staff committed to providing the best possible experience for our patients and their loved ones. I'm glad I was there to help your mother. Husband. Son. Father. Daughter. I'm glad I'm here to answer your call. Mothers-to-be have one important choice to make, and that's choosing Hurley Medical Center for everything from prenatal care and midwifery to that exciting delivery day. Don't delay your prenatal care. Mothers-to-be are safe at Hurley. Your home's buying power with a Dort Financial Credit Union Home Equity line of credit. Finance renovations, special events, or a vacation. Get our special 1.99% HELOC rate for the first 12 months only at Dort Financial Credit Union freshness at Halo Burger, and it's also about the beef, which is fresh, never frozen, and still made with the original recipe that made Halo Burger an iconic Flint restaurant. One of our mottos is good food for good people. Food is fresh, it's Midwestern flair. We've always done our best to bring in local product from local Michigan made places. Fresh beef, quality ingredients, familiar taste, friendly service, and a heavenly experience awaits. to the staff here at Gaines Jewelry, but I've spent most of my life in the jewelry business here in Flint. I've sold jewelry, managed stores, and even owned my own store. And the Gaines name has always stood for integrity, expertise, selection, and value. I'm proud to be a part of the Gaines tradition because now I get to experience it all firsthand right here in the community I love. I'm Fred Westerveld of Gaines Jewelry, Flint's oldest independent jewelry store. And Flint is my town. You, we know you work overtime to make everything around you just right. So we're here to make your day-to-day -day life a little bit easier. We're focused on providing you with the mobile services that allow you access to your accounts wherever your life takes you. Need to deposit a check on the go? No problem. Want to use Apple Pay at the grocery store? You can do that too. 
We are where you are. Stop in or visit us online and learn all the ways PFCU can help you find your financial focus in 2020. Turn to the experts at Hurley's Hernia Center of Excellence for treatment and repair. Procedures at Hurley offer faster recovery time and minimal pain. So don't delay your care. Hernia repairs are safe. If you have a hernia, turn to the experts at Hurley's Hernia Center of Excellence for treatment and repair. Procedures at Hurley offer faster recovery time and minimal pain. So don't delay your care. Hernia repairs are safe at Hurley. Back inside Atwood Stadium here at Kettering University. Second half of action just about ready to go. Flint City Fox with that 1-0 lead off an absolute rocket half volley. Ayub Tambe back around the 31st minute. That is a difference in the match. Livonia City FC will hold the ball to get things rolling for the second 45 minutes. Neil Rule and Gary Parsons with you. And we are live all over mid-Michigan on CW46. Flint City Buck Soccer brought to you by Dort Financial Credit Union. So, Gary, it'll be interesting to see here what do you think Andy Wagstaff's motivation will be here in the second half? Is it something where you want to go on attack mode? Oh, for sure. I mean, you've got to continue to do what you've been doing and try and get yourself another goal here. At least one more. If you do anything different at this stage, it's just asking for allowing Livonia City to get back into things. And not that they're out of it at all. Uh, so you got to work real hard, come out of this thing. For the first 20 minutes here, come on, play really sharp. And see if you can get yourself another goal. Amadou Cisse's cross. Yeah, there's Cut a, out. There's a huge difference between 2-0 and 1-0. Throughout this exhibition season, the Flint City Bucks have done a great job of getting that second goal, and the penalty will be awarded oh my goodness. as Tyler Channel oh, had his know, kick man. grabbed. Wow. Holy, holy smoly. I'd like to see that on replay because that might have been a grab, but it wasn't. Uh, Well, that's a that's a break for the Bucks for sure, and you got to be really disappointed if you're Livonia City right now. Let's see if he goes up. Goalkeeper's left upper 90 like the playoffs. Ayuk Tambe, can he deliver? No, he of goes course. lower right to the goalkeeper and scores. Ayuk Tambe strikes and it's two nil. Livonia City Bucks goal. Hey, Gary, if you're Ayuk Livonia Tambe. City FC, that is exactly the start that you goal did is not want. In the 47th the Flint minute, City Bucks do get that big second goal really disappointed if you're Livonia City right now. Let's see if he goes up. Goalkeeper's left, upper 90 like the playoffs. Ayuk Tambe, can he deliver? No, he of goes lower course. right to the goalkeeper and scores. I and so forth. But the game is changing so much where, you know, what used to be, nah, that's not a penalty, is now a penalty, you know? And that was one of those. Tyler Channel did have his arms up though while he was being grabbed. Well, I'm not saying he wasn't grab, being grabbed a little bit. Here comes another one right it's through. Ball and another and one. The strike is finished. Oh, my Ayuk goodness. Tambe two has a brace in about a minute of action. Two goals in less than three minutes. And that's going to do it, I think. And that was a game. Tyler Channel did have his arms up, though, while he was being grabbed. Well, I'm not saying he wasn't grab, being grabbed a little bit. Here comes another one right it's through. Ball and another and one. The strike is finished. Oh, my Ayuk goodness. Tambe. Two. Tambe followed the play. Kick showed up at the far post. Goal, score Bang. Number 21, Ayuk Tambe. Well, now, now Livonia City's got a mountain to climb. And, you know, just three minutes ago, they were right in a one goal game. Minute. So give Tambe another goal. It's a hat trick. It is a hat trick for Ayuk Tambe. He got two goals inside of a minute. Here comes Gonzalez. He dribbles one through. 
California City FC staggered by the start of the second half. Tombe nets a hat trick. He had a four goal match against West Virginia Alliance last year as well during USL League Two play. He can score goals in bunches. He has here this afternoon. don't see Livonia City coming back from this deficit now. So this thing could end up being, which we, I never dreamed would happen, a blowout. As you say, along the far touchline, he's dispossessed. Pass for Bernardini, had too much on it. Breitmeyer sends it ahead to Kyle Johnson. It's a 2v2 situation. That ball played over the line, throw in coming up. Very solid defensive play. Well, if you're Livonia City, you just got to say to yourself, we got to get a goal. I mean, we just got to work hard and get a goal, and then, you know, provided it doesn't take too long to do that, then you can work on the next object, which is to get another goal. <laughs> so you can get back in this thing, but it's going to be a big, long haul for them to get back in this game. Sends it out of harm's way. Let's say it escaped chase to it. Here it does look like you're seeing Livonia City FC moving forward. Just two along that back line as they stand right now. But as you said, Gary, you what can you do? I mean, you, you got to move the scoreboard. That's just the way it is. Yeah, and you're opening yourself up to a bunch of problems trying to do that. First of all, you push too many players forward and you get countered and then you get scored on again. The other thing is that now Flint City Bucks are totally comfortable. So they're playing with comfort, with confidence, and you know they're gonna play well, you would think. Another through ball here. Goalkeeper did a nice job way outside his box. Headed that ball away. He's probably 30 yards out, maybe 35. Kyle Johnson turns with it. He had some big moments in the first half of this match. He was all over the pitch. Grew kind of quiet the second half. But now, back active again. It's a foot race between he and Bentley, and he won it. Well, it's a good layoff. Rising up, that shot. Oh, that could have happened. You know, the shot was wide, and then it hit somebody, and it easily could have deflected to anywhere, but luckily it came right to the keeper. Second minute, Livonia City FC staggered right now. Chipped in towards the 18, and Elliot Bentley. You know, I was talking about the Bucks playing with uh, confidence and so forth, but instead of that, they're just getting sloppy now and allowing Livonia City to get quick counters. We, are, we have know, talked about again, that before. That, that more sloppy play on. Yeah. Johnson tried to send it through. If, if you have any complaints about the way the Bucks have played, if, if we've seen through this exhibition season, when they do get the lead, we have seen moments of that. They've always been able to recover, but uh, you've commented on that a few times. Yeah, and that's what's going on right now. They're uh, just not playing very well since they scored. Right, Meyer. Trying to thread it through. Bentley will let it go. Zelia Tarney comes off the line to scoop it up. Wings it out to Owen Turner. The youngster commit to Northwood. In his youth soccer for Vardar. Vardar, they win a few matches from time to time, Gary. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> they rack up wins and trophies. Defensively, Conceda's trying to turn with it. Channel the target. Tom oh, nice run, run here. Uh, good defending, though. 
broken up by, what's that, Bruno? Yeah, Bruno yeah. able to turn that one away. Nice job there. Connor Ream. Scored 13 career goals during his time at Saginaw Valley State. Four of those were game winners. Tardy gives it a lash. Strikes it beautifully Channel's to Tyler open. Channel. There's nobody catching up. Channel pokes it. And Arden able to make the save. Kettering University provides cooperative and exp experimental, excuse me, learning based education in the science, technology, education, mathematics, and business fields. Visit kettering.edu to start your next chapter today. And the throat bug got me there on the experiential pronunciation. We are here at Atwood Stadium at Kettering University. 3 0. Lynn City Bucks behind the Ayuk Tambe hat trick. He got two goals in about a 40 second span here to start the second half. And he has put Livonia City FC in a world of hurt right now in the 56th minute. City. We are right on the line. One more goal from the Flint City Bucks certainly to get everyone thinking about their lunch plans. And if you have them, go to Halo Burger. Try out the exclusive Bucks Burger. Halo Burger proudly serving Genesee County in seven locations. Halo Burger. Good food, good people. year for Livonia City FC. Playing the Michigan Premier Soccer League. They went 8-1 last year. Finished at the top of the table. Let's see what we get off of this free kick. Looks like just going to be service in the box, which it is. Backside, but Elliot Tarney's there. That wind at the back now of Livonia City FC. Breeze, good, good 12 to 15 mile an hour breeze at times taking its toll on that chip. Tombe. It's been his show. O'Neill. Dom Hart. Bentley. O'Neill gets on the end of it. Cosimo steps up. Beautiful ball to the corner. Bentley tracks it down. His cross over top of Cisse. Tombe has it. He turns and strikes. And Cisse was offside. Made a bid for a fourth. Yeah, he hits Amadou with the ball. And that might have gone in the net right. if Amadou had been standing there. That was labeled for the corner. Yeah. On the left. Ball up the middle, but good read by Tarney's well outside his 18 to clear that. My Bouye was ball with a quality ball, as you said. But. Yeah, that wasn't too far. If he hadn't read that just right, uh, Livonia City was going to get on the end of that. Long ball to Tyler Channel again down that flank. He's been hanging out on that left flank. Tom see what he can do in the box here. Him broken up nicely. Looks like Bruno again. And Sanders takes it away. And O'Neill will ping it back to Tarney. Tarney pings it back towards DeCosimo. Bucks going to work with the possession now. Yeah, 
the game has shifted again, and now it's in the Bucks' favor here. And this is right up their alley. They're just going to look for moments that they can penetrate, but keep the ball in the process. Gonzalo, a bad flag up one more time. Amadou Cisse. I didn't see that one either. I, it might have been Bentley, I thought, was offsides, but not Cisse. Folks, Capelli is a proud sponsor of USL League Two. Follow Capelli Sport on Twitter for all the latest Capelli Sport information or on their website at capellisport.com. Big fan of the Capelli Sport polos, jackets. They make a good product. Capellisport.com. 60th minute. Thirds of the way through for all the math majors in the house, of which I am not one of them. Clint City Bucks in control. It's actually not two thirds because the game usually has added time, so it's 93 94. Minutes, Roughly so. two thirds. Are, there's always one of those guys in the room all the time. <laughs> so, you must be a lot of fun at parties, Gary. <laughs> What? Yep. That was another through ball in the box. <laughs> Sorry about that. I couldn't resist. <laughs> Arting off the line to make the grab. You too, folks, can book Gary Parsons at your party. He can break you down mathematically, maybe take a shot at your pronunciations or grammar or anything. Here comes Frank Meyer. <laughs> uh, through ball it is. Doesn't connect. Okay, we got to get back to yeah, the job yeah. now, don't we? Well, that's what happens when it's 3 0, isn't it? Yep. And then when I try to do math, too. Yeah, there you go. I, I brought that on myself. Consumo through the middle. First team all Gleak oh, and all regional performers. In the middle of the midfield. Was to Cosimo during his time in Northwood. This call will go the other way. But Gary, the Bucks right now just, and this is the chair in the game if you're the Flint City Bucks, you get up 3-0 take your possession and you just kind of choke the momentum of the match away. Yeah, and if you're uh, Livonia City, you can't get away with fouling guys because that's just going to kill off more time. Right. So, and if you're Livonia City right now, you're going to have to up the pressure and take some more chances because you got to get yourself a goal. And if you drop back in, defend the back half of the field, then Flint City is going to be perfectly happy. Happy knocking around the back and just killing off time. But it does make the sponsors happy, though, Gary, because I can tell you, United Way, Gen United Way Genesee County fights for the health, education, and financial stability and the basic needs of every resident of Genesee and Shiawassee counties. Visit unitedwaygenesee.org to donate or find volunteer opportunities. Way is certainly a great way to make an impact on your community. And sloppy one touch back to goal again. You got to know what's going on behind you when you make that flick when you're back to goal because that's an easy ball for if the defender's in good position, it's an easy ball to read to pick out. Spencer Null. So if you're on the offense, you've got to look over your shoulder before you make that flick to make sure there's where you're flicking the ball, there's a defender in the area. It's a great ball when it connects, but. The Cosmo has it. Cisse, trying to find Conceda. Cisse Here wins we go it back. in the box. Cisse slots one through, makes no mistake, and it's 4-0 yeah. Flint City. He was able to get in deep down that left-hand side, cut in towards the goalkeeper. Nobody defended him well. He just slotted that ball right underneath the keeper. And Gary, the Cisse tried to find Conceda. Cisse Here wins we go it back. in the box. Cisse slots one through, makes no mistake. And it's 4 yeah. nil Flint City. Going on six. Quality soccer analyst. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
you know, for the amount of money I get paid, it yeah, probably yeah. matches <laughs> the, my ability level. <laughs> 64th minute, Amadou Cisse jumps into the party for the Flint City Bucks. But here, you brought up a good point during the first half, and it, it's something I I noticed but never took the time to verbalize this Flint City Bucks team. The core of this team, as you talked about, really finding their stride right now. And, and the pace, Gary, that is a thing that jumps out at me. The pace of play that Flint City is playing with right now versus what they were even four weeks ago. Uh, Gary, it's night and day. Yeah, for sure. The, the quality of this game by the Bucks is so much higher than it was three weeks ago. on the attack. And I, and I would say that 4-0 scoreline uh, could be a bit deceiving because it did it did take the Flint City Bucks about 35 minutes to, to crack the shell. And they had some quality opportunities before that. Yeah, I mean, a one nothing game at halftime wasn't, wasn't a bad result from the you know, standpoint of the, the way the game was being played. And then bang, bang, it's 3 to nothing, and now it's a whole different game. Tyler Channel through on this right side. Nolf got him a run. Far, ooh, he tried to clip it far post for Spencer Nolf, and it just got blocked. Corner coming up. And Elliot Bentley. Into the game for Livonia City. Jones. At the left back position, has to make that long run over to the right corner. Some extra cardio in right now. Bentley will line it up. He will send the corner in. O'Neill's available. He goes into the mixing bowl instead. That will go all the way through. Goal kick awarded. And some wholesale changes now for Andy Wagstaff. Number six, Baptiste Bessessure. Number nine, Marty Maven. Number 20, TJ Stevens. And number 23, TJ Ibarroti. Ibarroti will come back in with a couple of others. Yeah, you're in a nice situation if you're on that bench right now where all you got to worry about is, you know, making sure everybody gets a game and nope. you, you're not making tactical decisions and your substitutions as much as you're making decisions just to give everybody a run out there and move it around so guys get rests. Kind of sent it ahead. Bouchard settled it uh, down. Breitmeier. Disappointing with his touch. Good job by Bentley that time. Just, just dropped in a little bit enough to cut out that through ball. The shape of that defending was really nice. Sadis, Tombe, trying to come through with it. Here's Noel. Throw. You see the look of disappointment on Jacob Cunnan's face. And he will actually come out of the match, it looks like. Into the game for Livonia City, number 10, Josh Stenbeck. Josh Stenbeck comes back in. And we've got the break going on. That will take us to the hydration break as we cross into the 69th minute. Flint City Bucks in control. They lead this one by the score of 4-0. You're watching Flint City Bucks soccer all over mid-Michigan on CW46.
growing up watching my grandfather work on watches and my dad sorting diamonds, I didn't really expect to be working in the family jewelry store. I went to the Chicago area for college and graduated there, and that was a really special time in my life. But I witnessed Flint's recovery taking place before my eyes, and I decided that I wanted to be a part of it. What better way to make a living than helping customers find something that they can treasure for a lifetime? I'm Selena Gaines at Gaines Jewelry, Flint's oldest independent jewelry store, and Flint is my town. EMS training is very affordable. For the cost of one semester at a four-year university, you'd be able to complete both your EMT and your paramedic training. In addition, if you come to work at Mobile Medical Response as an EMT, we'll pay for your paramedic training and provide the scheduling support for you to be successful in the program. And you can do all of this without amassing a great deal of student debt. There's a bright future in EMS. Once you obtain your EMT license and go on to obtain your paramedic license, your options increase dramatically. You can become a field training officer, you can become a field supervisor, you can work in operations. There are opportunities in administration and leadership within organizations. Unlock the door to your home's buying power with a Dort Financial Credit Union Home Equity Line of Credit. Use your home's equity to finance home renovations, a special event, or a much needed vacation, even debt consolidation. Unlock your home's potential with our special 1.99% HELOC rate for the first 12 months. Talk to a Dort Financial Credit Union Home Equity Support Specialist today. Parsons back with you here at Atwood Stadium. Flint City Bucks soccer. CW46 brought to you by Dort Financial Credit Union. Hydration break is done. Really nice switch right out of the shoot by the Bucks. Got a throw in here on the right side. Got it into the middle of the midfield and out the other side and started an attack down that left flank. Flint City Bucks would like to thank Dr. Mark Knight of Knight Dental being the Bucks official team dentist. Bucks soccer also brought to you by MMR. They provide pre-hospital care and medical transportation using basic, advanced, and critical care ambulances, wheelchair vans, and medical dispatching services. Mobile Medical Response is the official medical response partner of the Flint City Bucks. back in the middle. Had it and lost it. Spencer Knoll finds Tom Bay. He's got three goals. He Petrotti. Inside the 18. He works There's his another shot. One. TJ Petrotti with a beautiful goal. It is 5-0 Flint City. And Gary, you talk about it all the time, 1v1, go to work and make a play. Petrotti. Inside the 18, he works There's his shot. One. TJ Petrotti. Inside netting. So really nice stuff by TJ there. The last couple weeks, Gary, he's, he's really come on, too. Yeah, he's looked really, really good today and last weekend. And... Flint City Bucks goal scored by number 23, TJ Ifadaroti. Assisting in the play, Rangers. number two, Elliot Bentley. That goal is scored in the 72nd minute. Elliot Bentley picks up the assist. This thing could get out of hand big time now. You still got... 30 minutes left in the 20 minutes left in this thing and they're just running at will at Livonia City now somebody had it touched away by John Daly I tell you who would have dreamt this watching the first 10 minutes of this game that right we'd be sitting here in a five nothing game just something about the this Flint City Bucks team when they're playing here in Atwood Stadium oh the Bucks moving to Flint has <laughs> been like just wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
got great fans here, a yep. wonderful stadium, and our team has come through and done some wonderful things here. Of course, the USL League Two National Championship last year in front of over 7,000 people here. Just talking with people in the Bucks organization. Thousands of people watching the broadcast this season. There's an appetite for it here in the mid-Michigan area, there's no question. Gonzalez is cross-deflected. And with all that success up. that the Bucks had on the field while they were playing out of Pontiac down in the Detroit metro area, they weren't able to have that success right. from, the, from the fans. I mean, up here it's been absolutely fantastic, the following that we've had. All right, got a corner kick here. It's going to be an outswinger. And we're going to cut it back, but defense did a good job of shutting that down. So here comes the ball. It's not a good one. Gonzalez didn't put it where he wanted to, but the Bucks still have it. Yeah, they just keep getting the ball back and attacking again. And Gonzalez Maven in the box. Maven has it. Lays it off. He put the roti. Drops it back. Left foot shot. Not I a ton much on, on that one. Sewer let that one go. I mean, all afternoon long, too. Seen Elliot Bentley jumping up into the play, having an impact, and going back to his spot as well. Yeah, that left side has really done some damage. You got the outside back getting involved in the attack all day long. And really no answer from Livonia City on how to stop it. He jumps up into the play and cuts back. Gets back to his spot. Substitution now for Livonia City FC. Throwing will be coming up. Buck soccer brought to you by Gaines Jewelry, a Flint tradition since 1963. When words aren't enough, you gotta go to Gaines. On Beecher Road in Flint. And number 24, Marco Bernardini. Tarney had to be sharp to make that grab. Now, but Gary, you, you talked about it, the reception from the fans here in the Flint area, the magic that's been going on through here. And there, there's been a soccer renaissance. That ball sent ahead. And he's in a breakaway. Tifa Toroti with it, sends it across in an easy touch home oh my by goodness. Marty Maven as he gets in the act. And it's 6-0. Wow, the defense for Livonia City is just, they've lost here in the Flint area, the magic that's been going on through here. And there's, there's been a soccer renaissance, that ball sent ahead. And he's in a breakaway. Tifa Toroti with it, sends it across in an easy touch home oh my by goodness. Marty Maven. Talked a lot about him, he's, he's a professional goal scorer. That's exactly what he is, spent four seasons with the Colorado Springs Bucks Switchbacks. Goal by number nine, USL Marty Maven. Championship level. Assisting where he scored in the play, 18 goals at Colorado PJ College. He's Bacaroti. their all-time leading scorer with 53 goals. So this is a guy that scored a lot of goals. And, Gary, I'm going to venture a guess that not many have been easier than that one. I was going to say, <laughs> nothing, nothing against Marty, but I might have been able to score that one. <laughs> Although it would have been 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> Dom Hart. Yeah, he wouldn't have got an easier one than that. He just had to roll it in an open net. That's what he did. And as we said earlier, the horses are out of the barn here in Atwood Stadium. Bucks leading this one 6 0. Piece of sore. It's crossed. Nobody on the other side. And yeah, you, got, you, got, you just got to be shaking your head if you're Livonia, Livonia City players right now going, what has happened? Because these guys aren't used to getting beat by, no. you know, half a dozen goals. No, the, the team up here. won last year would set yeah. at the top of the Michigan Premier Soccer League table. We were expecting this one might be the toughest of all the yeah. games this fall. And it has, in the second half, been anything but that. But, Gary, getting, getting back to my point I was making there before Marty Maven touched one home, and we talked about the electricity here in the Flint area the soccer renaissance you know, that has come through has really been in lockstep with the Flint renaissance as well. This area 
you know, Gary, my family matriculated here from the South. They worked in these car factories that were here, General Motors and GM. You know, I have a very large affinity for the Flint area. My, my family has history here, and I'm happy to see this, you know, with, with the city, with the soccer, all of it. Yeah, it's a great community, and they've really shown what they can do from a standpoint of rebounding from some tough times. Yeah. And just they're just wonderful people up here and just fantastic fans. Yes, they are. 79th minute. This one is a decided issue. Flint City Bucks soccer brought to you by Gaines Jewelry, where value and, and again we're are in on slogans. the keeper. And, and again. there is a shot that goes wide by Tom. By boy, he made a bid I, for yeah. another one. Yeah, we're looking at the goalkeeper. Beaver, is it Arton? Yes. I mean, he's just looking at his defense going, come on, guys, what's going on, man? You know, you've got to get your heads out and let's play. Take another crack at this read, see if Flint City's attack will cooperate. Gaines Jewelry, Johnson. where value and integrity aren't just slogans, they are tradition. They're on Beecher Road in Flint, just down the street. Thompson into the match for the Flint City Bucks. And the, and the real strange part about this is how easy it's been for the Bucks in the last 20 minutes or so just to get in behind these yeah. guys, just make a vertical run. The, the Gary, and they've been able to do it almost by accident at times. I yeah, mean, I mean, it's like, wow. And the defense has been flat as a flute, and they haven't been dropping. They haven't been trapping. They're just standing there on the line, and players are running past them. Into the game for the Bucks, number 13, Tyler Channel. Tyler Channel comes back in. And number 14, Amadou Cisse. Cisse back in as well. Connor Ream took it away. Ammonia City FC has not been able to mount much of an attack here in the second half. John Daly. Flag up along the far side, Kyle Johnson. What's the target? Kyle Johnson though, Gary still playing with that same energy, down 6-0. Yeah, he's been one of the few bright spots today for Livonia City from a standpoint of uh, work ethic and, you know, not dropping your head and continuing to uh, grind it out out there. Owen Turner makes a turn with it. Turner yeah, he's just lost possessed. it down here, but a good... Stem back. Bernardini tracks it down. Bouye played it to the right side. Bouye gets it back. Good possession here by yep. Livonia. Let's see if they can get something out of it. Elliot now, Bentley cuts it out. Cut out. Good job by Elliot Bentley again. You know, <laughs> just uh, Elliot Bentley certainly played for the Bucks last summer, and you can see the quality of his game. He has been dangerous here in the second half and really the last couple weeks. Good switch out to Amadou Cece on this flank. Going one on one again. Cece Ball inside. Petrotti. Touched away. Let's see if we can get a counter going now, Livonia. They have 4v4 if they want it. Bucks recover. Johnson lost it. Yeah, that wasn't uh, his best effort. And again, Pitoroti right up the gut side. of the field, and we're in. Tyler one. Channel makes he a lays run. Off. Tyler Channel getting in behind. Here's Channel 1v1. Crosses over. Tyler Channel just missed the far post. How about
about those moves from Tyler Channel. Yeah, and, and he was able to off off the ball, weak side of the field, just run right through that defense and ended up getting the ball in behind it. And, you know, I don't want to knock t Tyler, but he's not as light as he used to be, and that probably speed isn't his best forte these days. And he was able to get in behind the entire defense. Amadou Cisse serves the corner. Cut out right away. No. Goes down. Officials say play on. And now the whistle sounds. Spencer Nolf was a part of that USL League 2 championship side last year here for Flint City Bucks. This college soccer for Oakland University where he was a team captain. Under head coach Eric Pogue. You don't see much of these days. You know, we got a free kick on the right hand side. It's a playoff of a free kick. It's always a, a direct. I'm trying to get a bent on goal. Let's see what happens here. I bet you Bentley takes it, which he does. Bentley with the left foot. It's flicked over. It's just wide of the frame. Boy, good creativity from the Bucks with that play. Arnie Maven gave it a go for that upper left 90. That would have been an incredible goal. <laughs> yeah, that was, I'm not sure if that was a planned move, but it certainly did work. Throw in coming up as we move to the 86th minute. Flint City Bucks broadcast brought to you by Dort Financial Credit Union. Financial Credit Union opens doors, helping you build your future, meet your financial goals by providing quality financial services. Now servicing the entire state of Michigan. Here's Maven. on the other end of it. So Reem, Reem has it. Breitmeier inside the 18. Elliot Turney off the line will scoop it up. It was pretty looking build up there from Livonia yeah, City. Yeah, it was nice play by Livonia City that time. Ended up with a partial shot out of it anyway. Uh, but, you know, one of the few highlights they've had in this half of the game and yeah, the interesting thing with the defense and I was talking about this before but how he, the Bucks are getting in behind that defense all the time they haven't tried to trap anybody either so Bucks are making early straight runs to get in behind all you got to really do is read that and step up as a back four and you're going to catch them off sides and by the way you know you're down by so many goals it's, yeah, if it doesn't work it doesn't work anyway but you need the ball back, so trapping him and creating an offsides is probably it. Right, my nifty touch, and Gary, just as you talked about that, the Flint City Bucks did that. The back yeah. line stepped up. Yeah, that's what you got to do. And I don't think Livonia City's done it once. And by the way, when you're losing a game, certainly not by this many goals, but when you're losing a game, you know, you want to try and do that and play the offside strap so that you can get the ball back in the middle, middle of the field rather than, you know, for a goal kick or something. There you see the strong foot of Elliot Turney. Yeah, here we go again. Marty Mabin, it's Mabin a two-on-one. Ivan on one. He's with him. And his pass attempt was blocked. Luckily so for Livonia City FC. Here's Mabin again. The channel. Yeah, he's almost through again and gets it back. Cisse reverses it, nobody on the other end. I tell you what, if you're the coaching staff of Livonia City, you gotta be right in your back four with a big D minus F plus in this game. You 
because it's just been way too easy in the second half for the Bucks. And another one. Benton, far post, but just missed. There's a shooting gallery out here. Yes, it is. The Flint City Bucks have had their way this entire second half. This was, this was a 1 0 match. Number 15, Zach Hill. Yeah. And I, get, I just keep thinking about what I said at the beginning of this game. It was probably one of the worst calls I've ever made broadcasting is to say that this thing was going to be close. Because it, once, it was, Gary, it was, it was a 1-0 yeah, match. Up, up to halftime, those those two goals in the second half just broke Bologna City's back. Ayuktame got two goals in a 40-second stretch. Yeah, and, and that broke the spirit of Livonia City FC. Uh, again, as you brought up earlier, this is a team that is not used to losing, certainly not by this kind of scoreline. Thompson took it away. We're in the 90th minute. I can't imagine there'll be too much stoppage time. These are one of those games where you take that two-minute break for a television... Yep, he's in behind again, Marty Maven. But he couldn't quite control it. He's going to say, with this television timeout, I think if I'm the referee, I'm sort of forgetting about that and just getting this thing over with. And, and I don't think anybody would be unhappy with that. Kyle Johnson sent it back. He was a bright spot here for Livonia City FC. Lots of energy from him regardless what the scoreline was. Breitmeier makes a turn, goes back to Stenbeck. We are in stoppage time. Look at how open we are up on top, man. And again. David goes back to CSA. She's a slots one in for TJ and he scores. We'll get another one. A brace for TJ Ipaterotti. And that could be the finisher here this afternoon. That's a Flint City box. David goes back to CSA. She's a slots one in for TJ and he scores. We'll get another one. A brace for TJ Ipaterotti. Flint City Bucks goal scored by number 23, TJ Ifadaroti. Assisting on the play, number 14, Amadou Cisse. Cisse racks up the assist. That goal is scored in the 90th minute. In stoppage time. Lisa Sur. Here's Elliot Bentley. His cross played out. Corner upcoming now for the Flint City Bucks. Official checks his watch. He should check it and check it and then blow the whistle. <laughs> I don't know what he's waiting on now. Corner played short. I don't think anybody would worry about how much stoppage time we have in this one. There we go. And the final whistle sounds a dominating performance for the Flint City Bucks. They defeat Livonia City FC by the score of 7-0. We'll take our break, and when we come back, I'll be joined by Flint City Bucks head coach Andy Wagstaff. 7-0, Flint City Bucks with the, with the win. And this is Bucks Soccer brought to you by Dort Financial Credit Union on CW46. At Advanced Physical Therapy Center, our goal is to get you back to doing the things you love. I felt really bad pain in my back. I came to Advanced Physical Therapy Center, and after therapy, I started to feel better again so that I can tumble and do gymnastics again. I got up one day and I couldn't hardly walk. I came in here and the guys worked with me, and they got me back on my feet. Don't let pain or injury stop you from living your life to the fullest. The experts at Advanced Physical Therapy Center can help at eight convenient locations. You, we know you work overtime to make everything around you just right. 
So we're here to make your day-to-day -day life a little bit easier. We're focused on providing you with the mobile services that allow you access to your accounts wherever your life takes you. Need to deposit a check on the go? No problem. Want to use Apple Pay at the grocery store? You can do that too. We are where you are. Stop in or visit us online and learn all the ways PFCU can help you find your financial focus in 2020. My grandfather was Bob Gaines. He grew up in the Depression, and used the GI Bill, and hard work to start our family business, provide the best living he could for his family. He probably didn't envision his grandchildren selling and making jewelry in the store almost 60 years later. I love being part of the ongoing legacy that my grandfather started. Making and selling jewelry isn't just a job for us. It's not just what we do, it's who we are. I'm Wesley Gaines of Gaines Jewelry, Flint's oldest independent jewelry store, and Flint is my town. Haler Burger is about tradition that began 97 years ago. Haler Burger has grown to become an iconic and nostalgic brand that never forgets its commitment to the community. In nearly every corner of the community, you'll find Haler Burger stepping up to make a positive impact on the communities it serves. A philosophy that's been in place since the Thomas family days and one that makes this brand so special to so many people. They're not just a business, they're family. And family looks out for family. Welcome back inside Atwood Stadium, Flint City Bucks, a dominating 7-0 win. Neil Rule here with head coach Andy Wagstaff, as promised. And, and Wags, you look at this performance. I mean, Gary and I talked about during the broadcast. This was a 1-0 match at, at halftime. Yeah. Ayuk Tambe, two goals in 40 seconds, and the horses got out of the barn. Yeah, I mean, we said early on, I was talking to, as a staff, I'm like, they, they look like they're a good team. Um, and, we, you know, they've got a good record as, a, as an amateur team. So we knew we were going to have our work cut out for us. Uh, and to be fair, like you said, first half was a little bit cagey and thought we played some good stuff. I knew that it was coming, uh, but then to just break out in the second half and score a couple of quick ones, I think it just destroyed their uh, morale and momentum and, and we were able to push on. Uh, TJ Ifatroti too, we, we spent a lot of time talking about him during the broadcast. I mean, the last yeah. couple of weeks, he's taken yeah. a couple of giant steps forward. Yeah, he had a really good career for Davenport. He's an excellent player and uh, he was very frustrated. I brought him off in the first half and he came off frustrated about the fact that he, he didn't play as well as he thought he should have been. And then second half, he had a really good outstanding performance. He scored a couple of goals and then Ayuk Tambe getting his hat trick today. And um, so yeah, overall, I'm really pleased. Yeah, Ayuk uh, is a player and look, w when you're dynamic like that, you can take over a match and that's exactly what he did. I mean, going back to what we talked about, this was a one nil match and then Ayuk yeah. Tambe happened. Yeah, Ayuk was special today at times. And, I, and we actually, I actually pulled the forwards in before the match today and I said, listen, the last couple of weeks, the last three weeks, it's been either a defender or a midfield player that's been the man of the match. So it's about time you lads stepped up a little bit. So um, Ayuk's the kind of player that will love, love, relishes that challenge, you know. So I think he uh, deservedly wins the, the man of the match today with three goals. It certainly was a big time performance, not only by Ayuk, but the Flint City Bucks as a whole. They win it 7 0. For Andy Wagstaff and everybody else, my name is Neil Rule. Thanks for watching, everybody. Well, see you later.